Hi folks, this is Shefik. In this video, we are going to talk about how to perform encrypted vector similarity search with partially homomorphic encryption in Python. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. In this channel, we already implemented encrypted vector similarity search with fully homomorphic encryption encryption instead of partial homomorphic one but fully homomorphic encryption comes with some limitations it depends on very large private and public case when compared to partial homomorphic encryption also it generates very long ciphertext it also requires higher computational resources and it's not well suited for memory constraint environments such as iot on the other hand partially homomorphic encryption is notably faster it demands fewer computational resources, it's generating much smaller ciphertext and it's distributing much smaller private and public case. It's also well suited for memory constraint environments and finally it strikes a favorable balance for practical use cases. Of course partially homomorphic encryption has some limitations too. You are able to perform either addition or multiplication on ciphertexts and similar to fully homomorphic encryption. But to be honest, partially homomorphic encryption is enough to perform vector similarity search use case. In this video, we are going to perform our experiments for a facial recognition use case and we are going to use DeepFace library for Python to represent facial images as vector embeddings, but you are able to adopt this approach into any vector-based models, including reverse image search, recommendation engines, or large language models. Once we retrieve vector embeddings, we are going to use light fee library for python to encrypt them first things first we are going to import the required partially homomorphic encryption library from light fee import light fee if you haven't installed this library yet you may need to run pip install and light fee command here the only prerequisite is that alpha and beta must be l2 normalized vectors Thereafter, under normal conditions, forget that we are going to apply homomorphic encryption or encryption. Under normal conditions, we are calculating the cosine similarity between those two vector embeddings as expected similarity is going to be firstly, I'm going to zip the alpha and beta. Thereafter, x and y are going to be the dimension values corresponding dimension values thereafter i'm going to multiply these dimension values and finally i'm going to sum them all what's my expected similarity at 142.75 at the end of this experiment i should have same similarity value but i should be able to do it with homomorphic encryption now i'm going to do calculations for on-prem site Firstly, on-prem site is going to build a random crypto system. Crypto system is going to be light P. We are going to initialize light P object. Thereafter, algorithm name is going to be a, an additively homomorphic encryption algorithm. Payer is one of them. If you visit light P's repository, supported algorithms are listed here. And in this experiment, you are able to use any additively homomorphic one. Exponential algemal, elliptic curve algemal, Paleur, damgard Jurik, Benelo, Nakash Stern, and finally Okamoto Uchiyama. These are all additively homomorphic encryption algorithms, and you can adopt one of them. But in practice, Paleur, damgard Jurik, and finally Okamoto Uchiyama are the practical ones because for instance, exponential algemal and elliptic curve algemal, they require to solve discrete logarithm problem in the decryption step and this is not practical at all. So I'm going to adopt Paleo algorithm in this experiment because it's additively homomorphic one. Secondly, I'm going to set the precision something close to 20 because dimension values of my embeddings are going to be float as you can see and in real world examples precision i mean the value after the dot is very high i'm just going to create the crypto system thereafter i'm going to export both secret k and public k in that way i'm going to reuse this crypto system target file firstly let's export the secret k 
and secondly let's export the public key to export public key i need to set public argument to true this command generates secret.txt and public.txt in the same folder if you check the contents of those files for example in the secret.txt i have private key i also have public key on the other hand then public.txt i should just have public key so i'm going to use this public key to build the same crypto system with public key only in the cloud side later Thereafter, I'm going to encrypt my source embedding crypto system dot encrypt and let's encrypt the alpha. This is going to be encrypted alpha and let's check the type of the encrypt alpha. It's encrypted tensor. Let me show you the content of encrypted alpha. It's it has fractions. As you can see, there are five different encrypted values. They are corresponding to the encryption of each dimension values here. Then I'm done with on prom site. That's why I'm going to delete the content of my crypto system here and also the plain alpha because I'm not going to use plain alpha in the cloud site. I'm going to use its encrypted version. Let's delete them both and let's time to compute some operations on cloud site. Now I'm going to build a crypto system with same command here, light fee. I'm going to set algorithm to payload, set the precision to 19. But additionally, I'm going to set K file to public.txt. This is going to be cloud systems crypto system. Now in cloud site, I'm going to have the encrypted alpha, but cloud site cannot decrypt this value. Let's see. If I try to decrypt the encrypted alpha, I'm going to have an exception and it says you must have private key but i just have only public key then cloud site is going to perform the operation to compute encrypted similarity encrypted cosine similarity that's to perform this operation i'm going to perform dot product of encrypted alpha and plain bait this is going to be encrypted similarity let's check the type of encrypted similarity it's again encrypted tensor and let's see its fractions it just have one encrypted dimension value as you can see this is calculated by cloud site what if i try to decrypt it because it's calculated by cloud cloud crypto system dot decrypt and let's dec try to decrypt this encrypted similarity cloud site is going to have same error you must have private key to perform this decryption but please notice that this is performed by cloud this is the magical point of homomorphic encryption cloud is performing some operations but it doesn't know what the original data is now cloud site is going to move the encrypted similarity to on-prem site again let's define on-prem sites operations here i deleted the crypto system here that's why i need to restore it i'm going to copy this command it's going to be on-prem sites crypto system but it's going to be restored with secret key once i have on-prem sites crypto system i'm going to perform decryption with this crypto system it says 142.75 it's an array that's why i'm going to get its zero index value this is recently calculated similarity and actually i already calculated the expected similarity with plain tensors let's find the difference absolute difference of expected similarity and calculate the similarity this should be let's see the value first thereafter let's add the sr this must be satisfied very small value as you can see i got the same similarity value but this is calculated by cloud also it's performed with encrypted values we conducted an experiment with random or example vector embedding pair what if we use a real world vector embeddings let's try this i'm going to import the face library firstly right from the face import the face command thereafter i'm going to command setting these alpha and beta vector embeddings alpha is going to be the face i'm going to use represent function and i'm going to access the parent library first thereafter go to tests folder then go to dataset folder and get image1.jpg and use default vgg face model 
as model name and this is going to be my alpha vector embedding uh represent function is returning a list of embeddings and this image has only one face that's why i can access that zero index value thereafter get embedding key similarly i'm going to set beta to image to dot jpeg and this is going to be my beta image now i'm going to calculate expect similarity with plane vector embeddings at 0 0.5 0 0.58 now i'm going to build a crypto system with failure algorithm export at case encrypt alpha image vector embedding that type is encrypted tensor and i can get the length of its fractions at 4096 because vgg face is representing facial images as 4096 dimensional vectors thereafter i'm going to delete the crypto system at plane alpha now i'm going to build the same crypto system with public key only it should not decrypt the encrypted alpha because it doesn't have the private key and we are getting this error it's expected you must have private key to perform decryption thereafter cloud site is going to perform dot product to calculate the encrypted similarity its type is encrypted tensor and it has only one value in its fractions because it just stores the encrypted similarity even though encrypted similarity is calculated and computed by cloud cloud cannot decrypt it as nature of homomorphic encryption thereafter i'm going to build the crypto system on prem site again with secret key now on prem site should decrypt that encrypt similarity and it's 0 0.58 let's see the difference it's very small value and this condition is satisfied so in this video we focused on how to perform vector similarity search or vector similarity computation with partially homomorphic encryption in python we used light fee library to build homomorphic encryption algorithms and we have to use additive homomorphic encryption algorithms and in this experiment we use payer algorithm but alternatively you are able to adopt damgard jurik or okamato uchiyama or other additively homomorphic crypto systems if you do like this video please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel also if you make comments in this video it will help me to reach more people i'd be appreciated in that case thank you all for watching and See you next time.